Hey, hey, YouTube. Welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. I'm Arabin, but you knew that, didn't you? Hey, guys. Hey guys, I'm glad you're here. We're camping out at Kings Mountain State Park in South Carolina. Hope you enjoy this video. It's going to have some beautiful scenery, some historic scenery, things like this. So let's go on an adventure, shall we? Come on, let's go. Alright, so we made it. Truck Norris made it all the way. Two hours and 20 minutes from Central South Carolina to Kings Mountain. And uh, it says campers are supposed to check in at the trading post. Alright guys, here's my setup for the next two nights. We're in Kings Mountain State Park. This is my little picnic table that they provided me. And I also have a fire ring. We are allowed to have fires as long as they're in that little ring. I've already prepared my wood for tonight. There's a bunch of dead wood laying around, so that's not an issue. So I've got everything set up here as far as my supplies. My camp chair. Check out the view. But here's my tent set up, the Eureka, and inside, you see I've got my pillow, my sleeping pad, my sleeping bag, so it's all set up, not too far from the fire, of course I'm not going to really even need a big fire tonight, tomorrow I'm going to go visit the military park from the Revolutionary War, hike a couple of trails, see what I can find. Hopefully it's not going to rain. There's a 20% chance of rain tonight, 50% chance tomorrow. The gear that I've got, everything that was in my Red Wing 44 backpacking bag, you guys have seen that video. Uh, I did bring my haversack and my Boda, that's for when I'm going to go trail hiking. I'm not going to carry this big old backpack. Just going to bring my uh, haversack and my Boda. Got my cook set up over here. That's my snack for tonight. Got a couple of bottles of water, a cheer wine, a lantern, pipe kit, cooler with some ice, some more water I'm not gonna open it up but you know what a cooler it is and then my my camera bag Guys, I will tell you one thing I forgot to bring. I didn't even think about this time of year. There being bugs. But the bugs are crazy. But the best thing you can have for bugs is a pipe. 
when I first got here, the bugs were like swarming all around my head. But as soon as I lit up this little corn cob, Missouri, Missouri Meerschaum, they stopped. This is the area where I'm supposed to set up my tent, according to the park division. But they have the picnic table and the fire circle way over here. So I've decided to put my tent down here. Well, with this time change, it's still light outside and it's about 6.30. I'm not going to make this one long video because it's three days and two nights. And I know people don't like to watch videos that are that long. So for the first time, I'm going to do a series. And I'm probably going to break this video up into three, maybe four episodes. I don't know if I'm going to start a fire tonight. It's very windy. I don't need it for warmth. It's going to get dark very late anyway. So uh, I've already had my beef stroganoff. I cooked it on my uh, Snow Peak stove. But in the morning, I probably will start a little fire. I'm going to have bacon and bananas. All right, it's still not dark yet. But uh, I'm worried about maybe rain tomorrow, tomorrow night. So I'm setting up a plan B right over here. Got the hammock set up. Then I can put the tarp across there. But nothing is more relaxing than chilling out in a hammock. This is the life, guys. Just swinging, looking at that. All right, so let me show you guys my Eno, Eno hammock setup. This hammock is old. See, I've got the uh, tree straps here that are adjustable. And, uh, They'll go around big fat trees. They'll go around little skinny trees. You can see this hammock has got a lot of wear. But man, it still holds up. One section of it actually got ripped by a dog that I had. It is an Eno Double. One of the panels, see how this panel is light, light brown and the rest is green? Over here, there used to be a light brown panel. But a beagle that we had at one point ripped it. So, it's a little bit smaller now than it used to be. But just as comfortable, just as durable. You see the ends are getting a little frayed. But they've got heavy paracord here with heavy carabiners that hook onto these tree straps which save the trees. But yeah, it's a good setup if you like hammock camping. And I do like hammock camping, but I also like tent camping. So since I'm going to be here for three days and two nights, I figured I'd put up both and make the choice later on. We'll see how it goes. I'll let you know what I pick. Good morning. It's uh, the morning of day two of our three day, two night camping excursion to Kings Mountain State Park in South Carolina. It got very cold last night. I was uh, very lucky that I was prepared with a heavy coat, a shemog, and a beanie cap along with gloves. 
I've learned a lot just on this first day and first night. This is the first time I've been solo, somewhat primitive camping since the cancer in 2016. So it's really been close to four, it's been four, close to five years. Um, but I've learned a lot and there are some things that are gonna have to change. And that's just because of my age and my physical ability and my with the cancer. So uh, I think that unfortunately backpacking is a thing of the past for me as far as you know long overnight you know hike five six miles camp hike 10 12 miles camp I think those days are behind me for this place all I had to do is walk the length of maybe two football fields to get to the camp area and I was able to comfortably camp by making two trips <laughs> along that two football field lengths to get back to the truck and get the things that I need. What I have now, I couldn't carry in one trip. Some things that are gonna have to change are the tent. I'm gonna have to go to my bigger tent. I'm just too old to crawl around inside this little teeny tent over here. Yeah, like I say, it's a great tent. You see me do a review on it. It's the Eureka Solitaire. It is a one-person, bivy-style tent. And uh, for what it does and what it is, it works fine. Don't get me wrong. It's just I'm too old to get down there and crawl around. and I need more room to move. I need something that's easier to get in and out of. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to be upgrading my tent to a bigger tent. So if any of you guys are interested in a Eureka Solitaire, pretty old version, maybe 8 to 10 years, but it's in excellent shape, um, I'll make you a good deal. Anyway, what I'm doing now is I'm just warming up. I woke up at about 7.30, had to get a fire started because it's so cold. I'm letting the fire burn down so that I'll be able to make me some bacon and bananas. So uh, I'm going to go get things kind of organized a little bit. Then we're going to go check out some Revolutionary War stuff. Come on. Alright, so pretty lucky that this fire ring that came at this campsite has a little grill top on it. So I'm able to put my cast iron pan there with some bacon and a boiling water for grits. So while this is primitive camping, it's obviously not that primitive. Beats me having to put everything straight on the fire. So having that little grate is a pretty cool idea. And here guys, another good use for a smog. Because cast iron pots get very hot. Yeah, but when you have a smog, you can pick it up without burning the heck out of your hands. 